So it is officially winter, well at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, which means it's time to crank up the oven as it really heats the kitchen and it fills the house with so many beautiful aromas. Anyways, with that being said today, we have another great recipe that's perfect for the holiday season, yet it's simple enough to enjoy all year round. We're talking crispy garlic and herb potatoes. Now these potatoes are filled with so many amazing textures and flavors. The recipe is very easy to make and it's all done using the simplest ingredients, folks. Serve these potatoes next to your favorite protein, whether it's grilled fish or roasted chicken, or even for breakfast next to some fried eggs for a beautiful start to your day. Either way, the flavors of these potatoes are gonna completely blow you away. Let's begin by filling a stock pot with some cold water. You wanna go to about the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. While the water's heating up, let's get the potatoes ready. I'm gonna grab 12 fingerling potatoes and add them into a colander. And we'll rinse the potatoes under some cold running water. Now to make this recipe, you can use whatever kind of potatoes you like, though I do recommend that you use potatoes that are more waxy than starchy, such as fingerling potatoes, new potatoes, or even red potatoes, as they hold their shape so much better once they're cooked and they don't get mushy and we'll cut the potatoes in half lengthwise. Once the water comes to a boil, I'm gonna start gently adding in the potatoes into the stock pot, and we're just gonna parboil them between five to six minutes. This is gonna help remove some of the starch in the potatoes that we later on when we roast them, it's gonna help them achieve that light crispy texture in the outside and that beautiful melt in your mouth interior. After parboiling the potatoes for about five minutes, I'm gonna remove the stock pot from the heat and we'll drain it into a colander and let our potatoes sit here for a couple minutes. That way they can fully air dry. In the meantime, let's start getting the rest of the ingredients ready. I'm gonna grab six cloves of garlic and roughly chop them. Then I'm gonna heat a small fry pan with a low medium heat and adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 30 milliliters. After heating the olive oil for about two minutes, I'm gonna add in the chopped garlic, and we'll start mixing the garlic around with the olive oil, that way it all evenly sautés, and we're only gonna go for about one minute here. We don't wanna brown the garlic, we just want it to be nice and aromatic. After cooking the garlic for about one minute, I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat, and drain everything into a sieve with a bowl underneath. And we'll set the garlic aside as we're gonna be using it later on in the recipe. For the next step, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of dried oregano into the garlic infused olive oil, which is one gram, along with half a teaspoon of dried rosemary, which is about half a gram, and half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which once again is about half a gram and we'll whisk it together, that way all the ingredients are perfectly mixed. Then we'll grab our parboiled potatoes, which are now fully air dried, add them back into the stock pot, add the olive oil and herb mixture over the potatoes, making sure you scrape up everything inside the bowl, and we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper and we'll toss this together, that way each piece of potato is fully coated in that olive oil herb mixture and that sea salt and black pepper. Then we'll transfer the potatoes into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper and you wanna make sure all the potatoes are cut side down and evenly spaced out. And we'll add our potatoes into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, that's the bottom and top heat, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. If your oven can't do both functions at the same time, you just get in there at the halfway point and flip the potatoes around, that way they evenly roast. While the potatoes are roasting in the oven, let's make a very simple saffron mayo alioli that really take these potatoes to the next level. This is optional, but I highly recommend it. Let's begin by adding in one clove of garlic that's been roughly chopped into a mortar and adding in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. You'll find a link where you can get the saffron threads I'm using from Golden Saffron in the description box below. And using a pestle, I'm gonna pound down on the garlic and saffron until we form a paste. 
Then I'm gonna add in half a cup of mayonnaise, which is 115 grams. Squeeze in one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, which is five milliliters. And drizzle in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. We'll lightly season with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll mix it together until we end up with a beautiful creamy texture. This just takes a couple seconds. All right, let's move back to the potatoes. They've been in the oven for about 35 minutes and they should be fully cooked through with a beautiful light crispy texture on the outside. At this point, I'm gonna remove them from the oven. Now, of course, every oven heats differently, so it might take 30 minutes in your oven or even up to 45 minutes. And you can always tell when your potatoes are perfectly cooked through, just pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, they are ready to go. For the final step, I'm gonna transfer the potatoes back into the stock pot Add our reserved garlic that we cooked earlier and two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley, which is eight grams. And we'll toss this together. That way each piece of potato is coated in the garlic and parsley. And the reason why I waited to add in the garlic all the way till the end is this ensures that it doesn't overcook, which gives it a bitter flavor. Instead, it's nice and aromatic, which is what gives these potatoes that incredible pop of garlic goodness. Then we'll transfer our potatoes into a serving dish. And we'll serve them next to our saffron mayo alioli. Check it out, our crispy garlic and herb potatoes are done. So easy to make, super beautiful presentation, and the aromas coming out of the potatoes are mind-blowing good. But the beauty of this recipe is gonna be the texture of the potatoes with a light crispy texture on the outside and a melt-in-your-mouth interior. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. All right, folks, time for the moment of truth. Let's see how these turned out. Here we go. What a beautiful crunch. And then we try it with the saffron mayo alioli. I might as well eat the whole thing. Sorry, I'm like pigging out here. First things first, beautiful like crisp in the outside and the inside of potato just melts in your mouth. And as for the flavors, you have all that garlic with the dried herbs for an explosion of so much goodness. You saw this very easy to make. The perfect potato side is for the holidays or any time of the year. Give this a try at home. You will not believe how good it is. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Nabeth Robles, William Judd, Patricia Salem, Manuel J. Rosales, Edward J. Harrison, and David Houston. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support the show, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego. What an incredible potato recipe. So many flavors, so much garlic and those dried herbs. It's insanely good. And I'm telling you that saffron mayo alioli, don't skip out on it. It brings a world of flavors to this. So good. See you next video, love ya.